A brief snowflake warning, this is a pest control video and stuff does get shot. Today's video is sponsored by Olight. Tomorrow, the 7th of June, they have a 20% off sale on a range of Olight products to celebrate Father's Day, and they've very kindly given us a H1 Nova headlamp to give away to one Team Foxer lucky viewer. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how to be in with a chance of winning one of these, and follow the link in the description to see the range of products on offer from tomorrow. I'm currently stood on my truck looking at a pen of well, what's left of it, of the chickens and ducks from a permission. I got called to a couple of weeks ago to sort out a problem fox. The fox has helped himself to a number of the owner's chickens and ducks, so the pen's a little lighter than it was. But while I was here, I noticed there were quite a few rats kicking about, so I offered my services to come and clear a few of those up. And you never know, you might be able to see that in an up-and-coming video. But back on to today's video, it's all about that foxing trip. We're also going to pop down to New South Wales and see how Jason's been getting on. Dropped ya. We're also going to celebrate the 35,000 subscriber mark for Team Foxer by giving away a Team Foxer hoodie. Yes. So stick around until the end of the video to see how you can win one of those. Right, I'm going to keep ratting. Let's crack on with the video. So as you can see, I arrived on scene before dark to place my caller in the paddock. What I didn't want to be doing is disturbing it, and I chose this location for reasons which I'll go into in a second. The caller I'm using is the Icotect GC500, and as you'll see in a short while, I chose the rabbit distress call for obvious reasons. What I'm now doing is just casing out exactly where it is I think I need to stand to be able to get the best angle. I decide to go over to the right hand side of the paddock because the hay bales and that natural mound there gave me ample backstop so I could be confident with my shot placement. So when I say I chose the rabbit distress call for obvious reasons, it was simply because there are rabbits already in the paddock and that would form part of the fox's natural prey. Although my night sight wolf unit is only good out to about 200 yards, as you can see I'm using the PBRL laser IR which will actually allow me to see up to a good 5 to 600 yards. But it's definitely now dark enough, so all I'm thinking now to myself is I haven't seen the fox, so what I'm probably going to do is think about putting the caller on and see if we can entice it from the woodwork. Although it looks quite bright on film, the dimly lit backlight from the keyboard of the Icotec GC500 remote is pretty much the perfect brightness for you to be able to see exactly what call you want to pick during darkness. Now, as promised to a fellow YouTuber and fan of Team Fox, I'm going to give a shout out to Nadim, whose YouTube channel, Poor Patrol 92 and links to his Instagram accounts can be found in the description below. Thanks for buying the hoodie, buddy. Approximately 10 minutes in of starting and stopping the caller, I actually catch sight of the fox coming from the right, so I steady myself, press the record button, and wait for the inevitable. I took the fox at the front of the mound and didn't wait for it to go any further left just because I was confident that while he was there the shot was very safe. So I went to retrieve the fox, came back to the truck deciding that actually I had enough time to be able to see if I could mop up one or two of these rabbits at the landowner's request. Now clearly the 223 is a little bit overkill for a couple of rabbits, so I'm using my trusty Ruger 1022 in .22 LR calibre. I absolutely love this rifle for this job. It's quick, 
um, it's easy, uh, and you can get off a good number of shots in quick succession. Right, so we've bagged out Charlie, that's a top result, we were only here for an hour before we got that, uh, but there are quite a few rabbits around that the owners asked us to mop up as well, so we're now going to have a, a little crack at those, and it looks like I might have to come back with the air rifle and saw out these rats as well. A triple bill! One, smack in the head, two. Are where I shot the fox from. So we've got two rabbits down already. Let's have a wander over and see if we can get that one over there. I do manage to stalk in a little bit closer, and it was quite cool to see this little owl on the post there as I uh, try and look for my rabbit. The trouble with this time of year, and I'm sure most of you guys will agree, that uh, when the summer really gets into swing, the grass starts to get really tall, and I could barely see that one there, but I used the eye as a guide, and down it went. So I managed to bag myself four rabbits, which the raptors enjoyed immensely. A few nights later, uh, and some of you may remember a couple of weeks ago, I came uh, to this paddock here with Mark, and we actually saw the fox even before we'd really started getting set up. Uh, but unfortunately, it was all we saw of it, uh, so I uh, guaranteed the owner that I would return. So this is me a few nights um, later after the first fox session. In a similar setup, it's a paddock. They've had some ducks going missing. Put the caller on the fence, and literally within minutes, uh, out comes Charlie. Oi. Right under the corner. Well, it must have been on the tractor. You can just see the corner on the fence here. I've got some reflective tape on it. Got here, put the corner on. I don't know, no more than a few minutes and the fox is quite literally under the caller. I bloody hope the electric fence isn't on. But there's our fox. We've been after that one for a while. Looks like a dog fox to me. Architect GC500 wailing away there. I'll tell you what, this bloody head torch is good. Olight H2R head torch. Oh, there we are. It's gone down to 800 lumens. Indeed, it's very handy, I find, having a head torch while you're out. And just check out the pearly whites on this fox. Um, he has done some serious damage, this uh, this bruiser. Right, let's pop over to New South Wales and see how Jason's been getting on.
家。We're now back out with myself, and I actually missed a fox here in this field um, several weeks, probably a good couple of months ago now, in fact. Uh, but it's now been planted with plants, uh, and after a bit of a rainstorm, the, the keeper noticed a fox feeding, uh, going up from where we are down to the uh, down to the very back of the field. There's a very deep thorough here uh, on the left. Now this fox took some seven minutes. Uh, to decide he was actually going to come a little bit further and he was extremely cautious um, can't blame him you know it had been shot at before this one um, but here you can see it, it just stood there for ages and ages and when it decided to go away I thought well it's quite a long way I'm not very steady on the six but if it sticks sorry but if it stops again I'm taking the shot and I did and it went down at 204 paces off sticks here Far away from here. There it is. Where? In the furrow. Oh, there look. Oh yeah. <laughs> you fucker. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Dog fox. Redemption. He said it was a dog fox. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, well done. Where did we get it? Oh, right in the neck, look. That's where it come out. Straight through. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Well Pace that done. bad boy out. That was a good distance. Let's look, let's have to wood away. Still away. He come away, didn't he? He's come a good 50 yards fucking or more. Well done, mate. Oh, I'm pleased with that. You fucking up. My apologies about the few curse words there. A couple of nights later, and I'm out with my wingman, Mark. Um, I'm observing the wildlife, as I often like to do when I'm out shooting. Mark's checking and scanning around with the thermal spotter, and all of a sudden, uh, a fox comes bombing um, up the side of the field. I never saw it. I never even saw anything. In fact, I was actually watching this hare when Mark actually took the shot, but he did manage to capture it on film, which is quite a rare thing. short and sweet just the way I like it you've only got to ask Mrs Fox of that one um, a couple of uh, evenings afterwards and I'm actually out with the keeper rabbiting and um, I come across this fox uh, in a freshly planted pea field and uh, this is actually a clip that I got um, a good few weeks ago now but I forgot to add it into one of the last videos but I've only got the HMR with me so uh, whilst I'm quite comfortable with its accuracy at 100 yards I don't want to be taking silly shots um, here so uh, a, a mouth squeak at the beginning it didn't draw its attention so I fumbled around and got my uh, best fox call mouth caller out of my pocket gave it a squeak and it trotted into that so I stuck it right on the end of its nose um, it actually ran a little way back it did a few somersaults but it actually dropped um, about 20 so 25 yards maybe behind it slowed up considerably and then all of a sudden it just flopped over with its legs in the air gave a couple of kicks as soon as it stopped moving though, I was able to stick another one in just to make sure uh, you know I don't like leaving things suffering but there's no point taking a wild shot while the fox is moving around so there we have it a productive couple of weeks so thank you for sticking around until the end of the video to simply be in with a chance of winning a Team Fox a hoodie. Simply comment hoodie down below. To be in with a chance of winning the Olight torch that we have on offer supplied by Olight directly to yourself, all I need you to do is simply comment down below as to how far the beam will travel in metres. Here's a little tip, you might want to check out the link uh, for that down below to come up with the answer. So for the hoodie, simply comment hoodie down below. And for the torch, simply comment down below as to how many metres the beam will travel. The winners of the competition will be drawn at random in July and we will get in contact with you directly and arrange to send your prizes out. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care, stay safe and as always, happy shooting. I'll see you in the next one.